I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about what makes a parallelogram a square. Now, one of the things to think about is a parallelogram actually has certain criteria, but a square actually has more restrictive criteria than that of a parallelogram. So let's talk about what a square looks like, and we'll go from there. Now, in terms of a parallelogram, it requires that you have two pairs of parallel lines, and looking at a square, as you can tell, this is parallel to this, and this line is parallel to this line. As a matter of fact, the square actually goes one step further in that all the lines, all the sides rather, are equal. Now, what a parallelogram also has, in addition to having two pairs of parallel lines, is that the opposite angles are equal. Now in a square, this angle is equal to this angle, and this angle is equal to this angle. So a square actually takes the opposite angle measurements requirement a step further, because what a parallelogram requires is this, ang this angle has to equal to this angle, and this angle has to equal to the opposite angle. Doesn't say all four have to be equal, but that's a plus if it is. But a square, which is actually more restrictive when it comes to criteria, meets all the criteria that a parallelogram has and more. So what a parallelogram has to be a square is all the sides have to be equal, but furthermore, all the angles have to be equal to each other, not just the opposite sides. So a square is a lot more restrictive than that of a parallelogram. So Needless to say, a parallelogram has to go through more hoops to become a square. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how a parallelogram becomes a square.